Chili cook off, bake sale, noises off, and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm your host, Eduardo. Any junior with interest in government and politics should consider attending Huger or Girl State. Applications can be picked up in student service and services and are due January 29th. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2, chicken bowl, line 3, clothes, line 4, soup and salad bar, or mini corn dogs, and line 5, Big Daddy Pizza. Happy birthday goes out to Kobe Compton, Andrew Gabe, Andrew Jans, Elias Martinez Beard, Ernesto Rascon Gonzalez. Now on over to weather and sports. The temp today is a high of 36 and a Low at 29. It will be cloudy all day today. The temp current temperature is 21 degrees, and when we leave, it will only be 34. If you leave for lunch, expect it to be around 30 degrees. Here is the quote of the day The Mon Digivolve into Flamedramon, the fire of courage. Now to Violet with sports. Thanks, Chris. Today at 6, boys freshman basketball will play Western at home. In girls basketball versus Clinton Prairie, JV lost in a good effort and was close all the way to the end. 26 and 35 with Maddie Cook having 12 points and Karina Alanis with 8 points. Varsity also fell to the 10th ranked Gophers. Jesse Ramos had 5 points to lead the Dogs. The varsity wrestling team finished their season with a victory over Twin Lakes with the score being 56 to 21. Winners for the Dogs were Frenzo Pozas, Christian Matias, Oliver Lopez, Diego Nava, Armando Roa, Emma Pillion, Elijah Anthony, Josue Bautista, James Osler, and Juan Campos. A big congrats to them. JV wins came from Daniel Sanchez and Miguel Martinez. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio. Physio Care, Home Health Care, and Hospice would like to invite our community to join us for our chili cook-off and bake sale at the Neighborhood Center. There will be a silent auction, raffles, and a 50-50 drawing. All proceeds are collected will be donated to the Mills family. Now a word from Mr. Taylor and a few cast members of with noise off. Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Taylor and I'm here today to uh, promote a little show that's going on down at the theater. It's called Noises Off. It's a little farce. Uh, that's a comedy to the extreme for those of you that don't know. Uh, now normally I feel really confident about myself, but here I am today sitting with two very handsome gentlemen and it just makes me feel lesser. Uh, so first, let me introduce this gentleman over here, Mr. Bacon. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Doing pretty well. Good. And uh, Mr. Nichols? Hey, can't complain. All right. Uh, so uh, there's some faculty in the show this time. So uh, tell me a little bit about uh, this experience and a little bit about your character. Uh, I think this experience has been pretty, pretty interesting. There's uh, a lot of fun stuff going on. And uh, as far as I know, I haven't really got to see a show on this stage that there's mostly a majority of faculty which I think it's a really cool idea and it's a fun experience and uh, you get to see some of the faculty being a little bit goofy. Um, anyway, with my character, uh, my character's name is Selsden, but I also play the burglar. Uh, Selsden is around 80 years old-ish, so I gotta put on a lot of makeup. Um, but he's around 80 years old, he's British, and he is very hard of hearing. So if you come to see the show and you think, oh, some of those lines don't make sense. They do make sense. Selston is just hearing something other than what you think he's hearing. What's it like working with Mrs. Sharber? I hear she's a true professional. Well, it's, it's uh, pretty interesting. Um, I get to uh, interact with her sometimes. Uh, her character and mine, uh, I guess her character likes my character enough to uh, in try to get me into the show. But um, when the show falls apart and everything, then, you know, relationships, maybe, you know. Okay. And uh, over here to my left is the ultimate professional, uh, Mr. Nichols. Uh, if you want to just, uh, just uh, in, in one sentence, how would you describe your character? I would say Freddy is sensitive and he does not like violence. Sensitive and does not like violence. I got you. Uh, so you would say he's probably a ladies' man? Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Uh, now, uh, what's it like working with Mr. Taylor? I hear he is really probably one of the greatest co-actors ever to work with. 
Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. Oh. Um, he's, he's okay. Uh, he's, he's fun to work with. Oh. Um, he makes it hard to stay in character sometimes. He does? <laughs> yeah. Do you break uh, character a lot? No, I think he does. Oh, he does? Yeah. Okay. Um, but we won't, that won't happen during the show because we're true professionals. Right. And, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. No, it's, yeah, he's okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, some other faculty also, uh, Mrs. Lovis, uh, she will also be in the show. She's doing her very first uh, performance ever. Uh, so we're really proud of her. She's, she's really kicking butt. I don't know if I can say that, but I just did. And uh, so here we go. Uh, here's Noises Off this weekend. It's Thursday, Friday, it's Saturday. It's a Saturday matinee because we've got Puppy Power rocking after the show. So make sure you come out to that. And uh, that's it. So hey, back to you, Mrs. Chuck. And Bacon's in it. Don't forget oh, Mrs. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Just a little sports reminder. Track and conditioning practice have already begun. All non-winner sport athletes should be in attendance. You can change in the PE locker rooms, then me on the stairs by the Ox Gym by 310. Distance and mid-distance runners need to be prepared to run outside every day. That's it for today's announcement. Make sure to like and subscribe.